Hey guys, Jibs here, and today I got a pretty quick Photoshop tutorial for you. This is for anyone who's into photo editing. Um, it's a pretty basic thing, and it's a must-know thing. Pretty much all I'm doing is taking an image, choosing parts that I want to stay colored, and then making the rest black and white. As you can see here, I have the skateboarding picture, and everything's black and white except for these two little strips on this beam that I've cut out um, and to do that I'll show you just pretty much open up the picture you want um, double click to unlock OK and then I'm just going to zoom in here go to your quick selection tool or magic wand tool and I prefer the quick selection tool most of the time and then just left click and then drag it over the area that you want to stay colored and then right click layer via copy not layer via cut make sure it's layer via copy so click that and after that make sure you go back to your original picture and then again just left click and then highlight the area that you want to cut out and then again layer via copy not cut copy and then again, go to your original layer, go to your adjustments, find the black and white, click on that, and bam, there you go. Everything's black and white except for those two little parts that I cut out. So that's the first way to do it, that's how I usually do it, but sometimes when you're doing this, your image, like the little selection tool thing, as you can see here, the red strip continues on the other side, but Sometimes it'll choose, see right here, it'll choose something of the same kind of shade, and that's where it gets kind of annoying. So if you want to be more precise with that, um, I'll show you how to do that. So scan, open up an image, unlock, use your, actually, no you don't, you, you go, click black and white right away. And then you go to your eraser tool and you start erasing. And there you go. It erases the parts that's black and white and reveals the beautiful red underneath. Um, as you can see, this way takes a lot longer and it's a lot more stressful, but you can get more precise and you get more detailed with it. And the end result is usually much better than what you would do with the uh, quick selection tool. Um, that's pretty much it, a uh, quick tutorial for you, um, if you have any uh, requests, don't be afraid to uh, comment, and I'll be glad to do them if I think they're good enough, so uh, thanks for watching.